Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. Today we're diving deep into a tried and true strategy for mastering the PE exam, the three pass method. This method isn't just a theory, it's a practical time-tested approach that I personally found invaluable during my own exam journey. So let's break it down and see how it can help you ace the PE exam. This Pass the PE exam video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and the passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. First, let's talk about time. The civil PE exam, for example, is split into two four-hour sections. While eight hours might seem ample, trust me, it flies by when you're solving problem after problem. That's why a solid time management strategy is crucial, and that's exactly where the three-pass method comes in. So, what is the three-pass method? It's a systematic approach to navigating the exam efficiently and effectively. Let's go through each pass step by step. Pass one, the quick wins. This initial suite is all about quick wins when assessing the terrain. Here you'll flip through all 40 problems. Your goal, to identify and solve the simplest ones, ideally in less than one minute each. Now for those slightly trickier problems that you're confident about but need two to four minutes, mark them with a number two and move on. And for the real hard head scratchers that leave you puzzled at first glance, give them a number three and keep going. Aim to spend about 30 to 60 minutes on this pass in practice, but try to get it down to 30 minutes in the real exam. Ideally, you'll have nailed at least 20% of the problems in this round. Pass two, the steady pace. This is where the heavy lifting happens. Now, you'll revisit those problems that you marked with a number two. These are the questions you feel good about, but they require a bit more time and thought. Your mission is to work through these problems methodically, averaging about two to two and a half minutes per problem. Remember, if you're stuck for more than three minutes, make a guess, mark it, plan to come back in the final pass. Budget about one and a half to two hours for this step. By its end, you should have confidently tackled around 70 to 80% of the exam. Pass three, the final challenge. The final stretch. Now you return to the problems marked with the number three. Often you'll find they're not as daunting as they first seem. Your brain's been subconsciously processing them while you work through other sections. Tackle these to the best of your ability. If there are still a few that baffle you, don't sweat it. Guess and move on. And remember, you built a solid foundation with the first two passes. As the clock winds down, if you finish early, you have a choice. Review your answers or wrap up and enjoy some extra time in your day. Remember, the three pass method is a framework, but not a rigid rule book. Adapted to your style, pace, and needs. Consistent practice, dedication, and strategic approaches like this are key to acing the PE exam. I can personally attest to the effectiveness of the three pass method. It's a game changer. Practice it with your practice exams and you'll walk into the test day ready and calm. That's all for this episode. Keep studying, keep practicing, and you'll be well on your way to passing the PE exam. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will be published weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference 
in your PE exam result and then ultimately your engineering career. And please ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will respond to you. Let me know if there's a specific topic you'd like us to cover or a problem that you really need help solving. Pass the PE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam. Thank you.